Disney girls are turning into racy internet models without even knowing about it. Yeah, this is pretty disturbing. Bedroom pics meant for private viewing are popping up on websites, sometimes under the guise of revenge porn. KITV force Brenton Noir back with the story of some unsuspecting victims. Brenton. Yanji, I spoke with about two dozen Hawaii women who were on one of those websites. Most of them were shocked, afraid to have their identity identities revealed. Some feared their parents would find out. Others had to quit their jobs because of this. But every one of them agreed something has to be done to stop people from posting to these sites. What goes on the web stays on the web. And when it's your naked photos, they can pop up in places you've never imagined. Websites like these have some women feeling trapped, not knowing who's looking. On this site, hundreds of local women's photos have been listed. Some nude, some pretty close, like this one of Lauren Lala. Literally anything you post or give to people over, you know, the web or text is going to end up somewhere. At this site, anonymous posters go as far as putting up personal information of women so they can see if other people have naked pics of them. Fortunately for Lauren, she's never bared it all on camera, even after being offered $2,000 from someone she believes was a user of the site. Instead, she did her homework and checked up on what people were writing down. Yeah, she totally said she's going to do it uh, for more money, and then there's other people saying, yeah, just keep going along with it. Just tell them I'll give you more money and more money until you get the nude. But Lauren knows others who've been fully exposed, some girls as young as 14. They're not like that kind of person, and they have that kind of picture on a website. You know, that's probably the thing that they don't want. They're like, I'm not like that, but it somehow ended up on there. A new bill would make this so-called revenge porn or unauthorized posting of naked photos a criminal offense in Hawaii with penalties of up to six months in prison and a $1,000 fine. Representative John Mizuno is pushing to pass this into law. The scary thing about it, too, is many times they'll post the, the person's um, Facebook site, phone number, email address, uh, workplace, where they live. Th this is a safety issue. Well, there's always going to be uh, haters or like mad exes or just fake friends that are always going to want to see you fall and break down. So they're going to be posting. National reports chronicle victims of revenge porn going as far as committing suicide. Something Representative Mizuno doesn't want to happen here. Part of the reason Hawaii is one of the leading states when it comes to pushing for this law. Just because it happens in the privacy of your bedroom doesn't mean that your, your partner has consented to put this on the internet. Victims who didn't consent to internet exposure say they'll definitely consent to shining a spotlight on the darker side of the web. That's definitely would be really nice, you know, because there's a lot of girls from Hawaii that's on that site. Um, I mean, of course I feel bad for the girls, and there's, you know, people that are posting those pictures on that website should be punished. We've reached out to one of those sites, anonib.com, to ask about what the people who, uh, who post on that site, they have not gotten back to us. However, the site's down at the moment. There's an apology message up on the homepage to the women whose photos were put up against their will. It goes on to warn those that abuse others online. Back to you. Great investigation there tonight. Thank you, Brenton. Also a